What's going on everybody? I hope you guys are having an amazing day. My dad's right next to me. He just got so scared. Whatever. This you just got so scared. Whatever. Oh my god. Connor hit some paper towel. Oh my god. You should have seen him jump. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> but I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today is St. Patrick's Day, and I hope you guys are having an awesome St. Patrick's Day. But not just is it St. Patrick's Day, today is my grandma's birthday. Love you so much, Grandma. I hope you are having a wonderful birthday. And yes, guys, I am repping some green today. You guys might be wearing tons of green today. Boom. I'm wearing it stylishly. I don't know if that's a real word, but... But yeah, guys, today we are going to be making Hype Beast Easter eggs. For all you Hype Beast out there, yeah, this is going to be a DIY where you can make your little Hype Beast Easter eggs. This is going to be the first time that I've made Easter eggs in a while. Oh, you just didn't do it because it was last year! No! I haven't made Easter eggs in like a few years. My dad's going to grab the eggs right now. I'm going to pretty much teach you guys how to make these. Now, when I say teach you guys, I'm pretty much just saying that I'm going to try this for the first time ever, and hopefully it turns out good so you guys can do it. But my dad's coming in with the eggs right now. Thank you. Have fun. Thank you, thank you. Let's open these things up. I'm checking these really quick because I feel like there's going to be like a surprise in them. Are these hard boiled? Yeah, hello. Why wouldn't they be? <laughs> All right. Crack one open. Crack one open. No, seriously, crack one open. You suck. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, come here. He checked one. And he O-E-D. <laughs> I say hi to my girlfriend, Sarah. Hi. We took one that didn't boil and we put it in a spot, you know, so then later on people would break it and it would open up. And then he picked the exact one <laughs> that I just put in there. So wait, on two dozen eggs, I just... Yeah, yeah. the exact yeah. one. That's awesome. That's pretty funny. He really thought that he can get me. I I'm a master, okay? I picked one egg out of two dozen. And sure enough, it's the one that's not hard boiled. Boom! Now, for the first egg that we're gonna be making, when you're gonna make Hype Beast eggs, you have to start off with the most Hype Beast brand out there. And that brand is Supreme. These BOGOs right here were from the Fall Winter 2017 drop. And out of all these colorways, I managed, well, I didn't manage, but my dad ended up managing to cop the pink and green BOGO hoodie, which I think is the most fire one out of them all. I tried and I struck out. On her forehead. So pretty much what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the colors out of these hoodies and I printed out a set of a set of box logos that I'm gonna slap on the eggs to kind of match those hoodies. And there will be a PDF of these right here linked in the description if you guys want to do this. So let's go grab our colors really quick so we can make these. So these right here are the colors that I'm gonna be using. I'm pretty sure you can find these at your local Kroger or something, Meyer, I don't know. Where'd you get this? Target. Target. The directions on here isn't really clear, so I'm just gonna do it by the eye. Cause that's how DIY should go. What I want to do first, I want to make the hoodie that I already have, the pink and green box logo. I think this is the pink one. So we're going to take a teaspoon of vinegar. Wait, what does the vinegar do? A teaspoon of vinegar. And then we're going to get some water and we're going to pour it in here, probably like right there. And now we're just going to squeeze this until it looks about right. That looks so satisfying. Are you guys seeing this? I and mean, now that I'm looking at this, I think this is red. Yeah, that's definitely red. Let's try a different color because I think that is red. So again, we're gonna get a teaspoon of vinegar. Nailed it. And then we're gonna go with this color because I think this is pink, even though it kind of looks purple, but here we go. Oh, wait a second. I didn't even put the water in yet. Beautiful. Now here we go with the pink. Yeah. Man, this is so satisfying to watch. But when you realize that that's not pink, your hopes and dreams just kind of go down from there. So now let's get started. You got your pink dye that doesn't look very pink. And then you're going to take your handy dandy Mr. Spoon and you're just going to kind of dunk her, you know? And pull this little baby out. Oh man, that's the color right there. So my dad thinks if I wipe this, it's just going to be gone. That none of the pink is going to stay on there. I am a master at eggs. That worked out. 
So he wants me to put it in there longer, and just for my dad, we're going to put it in there longer. So while we're waiting for this one, we're going to go on to a different color. I'm not going to make the blue because that was just too much last time. And we're just going to do a little dunk again. Bloop. Now this hoodie was super, super light blue, which now that I'm looking at this, it's definitely not going to be the same tone as that other blue. I'm going to pull this out really quick. You know what? That actually looks pretty good, but I'm going to leave that in there longer. All right, so I think it's been long enough pulling this thing out. Oh, that actually looks good. It looks good, but I don't know if it's the same color as the hoodie. Boom! That looks pretty delicious. That looks really, really good. But now that we got that egg out of the way, let's check out this one that my dad thinks I should have left in there longer. I think it was ready when it was ready. So we're going to wipe this down. I think the color matched it better the last time. Actually, you know what? My dad might be right. It looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. We're going to wait for that bad boy to dry. Next up, this is going to be the last BOGO that I make. This one is going to be the, like, the lime colorway, I want to say. Now, this one's going to be kind of hard to make. It's kind of a yellow, but it's kind of a green. I used all the yellow, didn't I? You know what? We're just going to do a little dunkity dunk again. While we're leaving that in there, though, I think time to slap a little BOGO on there. Boom. There it is, the Supreme Box Logo Egg. Rate that out of 10. I I'm giving that boy a 9. Alright, so I think this one's done. Yeah, baby! So now, I think the other egg dried. We're gonna go slap the BOGO on this egg. Did you know that you can stand an egg straight up? Just like that. Little disappointed in this one, not gonna lie. Now with the lime green egg, we're gonna grab a red BOGO. Shika bing, shika bow. That looks pretty good in my eyes. BOGO could have been a little brighter. So yeah, you get the gist on those ones. Now we're gonna go with the brand off white. Known for their, say it with me guys, quotations. You guys probably said X. We're gonna get out our handy dandy Sharpie that you can find at your local convenience store. We're just gonna make the off-white X. Boom! I thought it was gonna be too small at first, but this actually looks pretty dang good. That right there is the off-white egg. Now, I did tell you guys that off-white is famous for their- Say it again with me, here we go, quotations! None of you guys said it. On the off-white Jordans or any of the off-white collab with Nike, they ended up having like air or foam. So, we're gonna make it pretty simple. We're gonna put egg on the egg. Here we go. These right here I got at my local Joanne Fabrics or you can probably get them at, what's that one place called? Michaels. Michaels. But you can't get a dollar out of me. I'm a man, 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 man. I'm a mother, mother, E-G-G-G. And now that I'm looking at this, I might take that E off. What do you guys think? Does that suck? Should I redo that? I'm just gonna take that E right off of there and then eat that because that is not gonna happen in my world. <laughs> Neither is that. Boo! How does that look? That looks pretty dang good to me. Now you guys might be thinking, where's the quotation marks? We're gonna have to pull out our, our handy dandy Sharpie again. I'm gonna need that. We're just gonna make our own little quotation marks on there. That's how you make your off-wet egg. That looks pretty cool. Now once I get done with all of these, I'm gonna put them all side by side and I want you guys to tell me which one is your favorite down in the comments. Next up, we're gonna do the brand Cause, which turned into a Hypebeast brand because they did a collab with Jordan. I'm gonna end up making the Cause companion set. I'm gonna go for like that blush color first. Now which color do you guys think I should use? Should I use this one or this one? Good choice, I would've went with that too. So that one's gonna need some waiting. And while I'm waiting, I'm gonna put on my favorite song at the moment. I'm gonna put the cause head right next to that. Boom! Tell me I did not nail that. We're gonna end up doing the cause eyes. Sometimes I wonder, like, why am I even doing this right now? That does not look that great, but we're gonna deal with that. Here's the egg fully done. That does not actually look that bad. I'm gonna give myself credit on that thing. Now next with the companion setup, they had a gray cause figure. Now I'm not really too sure on how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna try to make it work. Did that crack? I think that totally cracked it. I'm gonna do a little dunkaroo, and this guy, mix him around in here, put him in the blue, mix him around in the blue, all right, so that did not work at all. So we're gonna go boom, purple, boom, blue, boom, green. 
And a little bit of twang of the orange. There we go. And do a little skadoosh. Ooh! There's our gray egg with a tint of purple. We're actually gonna let this one dry. And while we're waiting for that, we're gonna go throw in a little dance montage again for you guys. Okay, it's dry. We're gonna put the X's on it again, and hopefully it turns out a lot better than the other X's did. One thing about Cause though, he ended up making a figure where the face was split in half. It's called the dissected Cause figure. It's pretty cool. We're gonna squid this one in the red right there. Oh, we're gonna have to wait for that one again. Well guys, we're gonna do another dance montage. Sink! That got old real quick. I think that's about done. And once you got the egg colored and you made her all pretty looking, you're gonna go ahead and make that cause X again. And this time we're actually gonna try to do it good. You know what? That did not work out. Next brand we're gonna go with is Adidas. I'm not gonna make no Adidas logo on an egg. Two days ago, Adidas and Pharrell ended up releasing an NMD that's called the Holy Pack. These things were sick and unfortunately, I took an L. Well, Start coming and they don't stop coming. They were multi-colored, so that's what I'm gonna have to do to the egg. Now let me show you how it's done. I ended up clearing off the table. I'm trying to get a little messy with this one. For this one, you're gonna need shaving cream, a spatula, your dye, an egg, and a knife. <laughs> You're gonna take your spatula and you're just gonna smooth it out. So you're gonna smooth it out real nice and smooth. You're gonna wanna get a little messy. Then you're just gonna pop open your dye and you're just gonna bloop, bloop. And then you're gonna grab a green and just do the same exact thing. And then we're just gonna dab it with some blue. Get it, I dabbed it with, okay. You're gonna get your knife and you're just gonna wanna do a little bit of this. This is looking so cool right now, I can't even tell you how cool this looks. You're gonna get your egg, and you're just gonna get messy with it. You're gonna roll it around. Oh, this is the part where I should be wearing the gloves, right? Yes. And then you're gonna have it turn out like this. You're gonna set it somewhere where it can just like, so it can dry, I guess. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> just finished clearing everything off the table. Hands still stained. But out of all of them, we're gonna pick this one right here. Now what you need for this, go up to Joanne Fabrics or Michaels. This totally reminds me of the NMDs. And of course, since I took an L, at least I'm not taking an L on the egg. Now I did tell you guys that I was gonna show all the eggs at the end. So to top it off, go grab yourself a shoe box. Doesn't have to be Adidas. I mean, shoot, could even be a Yeezy box if you wanted to. Go throw some fake grass in there. Again, guys, go down in the comments and tell me which one you think is the best. But that's it for today's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video and share it to your mom, share it to your grandma, share it to your goldfish's uncle, Krabs, share it to little Bobby down the street, and share it to Nicolas Cage. I love you guys so much, though, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.